Fashion Weekend was home to vibrant colors and various expressions of fashion and style as the most promising, talented and recognized fashion designers, brands and retail enterprises from across Nigeria and abroad showcased their latest product to a vast, diverse audience. Masterclasses providing fashion entrepreneurs a platform to learn from global experienced brands. The speakers range from photographers, makeup artists, cosmetic experts, runway coaches who enthrall the audience with their vast knowledge in their craft. I didn't have a network of people who were willing to pay for my work, but I had fans and I had people who believed in my work. And those are people that opened the door for me to make money. It's very difficult when you make money your goal because when you make money your goal people can see it and people will hold on to their money. How do you get a celebrity or let's say someone you're meeting for the first time to get comfortable with a particular outfit you're putting together? That is a million dollar question. It's something that I struggle with all the time. I think it's something that all stylists struggle with because obviously I'm like, this looks great. And the celebrity or the talent might be like, I hate this. So it's about finding that balance again. I try and make sure that whoever I'm working with, I have a very clear idea on their aesthetic and I have to put a lot of what I really want to see them in to the wayside and just make sure that they're happy and they're comfortable and hope that we reach a middle ground. There is no reason if you work for or run a, a heritage print brand that you can't use digital to secure your future, to future-proof you. As long as all of the, your platforms work together, so you're using your digital platform to drive your, your print eyeballs and vice versa, then it all kind of works. Um. <laughs> Think of yourself walking down, opening up the Givenchy show. What would you do? Show us, because they want to see it. You go, girl. They're not too impressed. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show you and tell you what she was thinking. So I need apples. I need some oranges. I think I'm going to make some alfongo for dinner tonight. Um, let me see, I need some bread. Um, I need some water, some milk for the kids. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, oh yeah, oh no. My man's going to eat outside after work tonight, so I'm going to cook for him. Yeah, okay. So, girl, we need energy. We need fierceness. We need you to be fabulous. Give it to us. Yes! Put your hands together, please. Wind in the hair, wind in the hair, wind in the hair. Yes, wind in the hair. Thank you. Well, first of all, the masterclass was amazing. Learned a few things from it. What I want to know is, since you've been here, what's the most popular trend you've noticed with the clothes that we wear? Oh, the most popular trend for Nigerian ladies, I would say, is the flamboyance. 
I love uh, the fact that you're not frightened of colour, um, everything is worn with a smile and, um, and I think that's, that's the best thing any designer can ask for is to have somebody happy in their clothes and, um, and, and I love the fact that all the ladies here have got their own, their own style. Uh, whether it's the crazy prints, whether it's a little bit of embroidery, whether it's a, a beautiful cut, um, I, I've seen I've seen lots of interesting things here this these last few days. I like with the guys, I'm seeing a lot of track pants. It's a lot of these sporty track pants, whether they are Adidas or like, you know, I don't really know, but there's a lot of track pants, and I like it because there's a like an, there's a sporty undertone to every guy that I see here. Um, I was telling the other young lady is sort of retro in a way. It reminds me of like football, but it but everyone's collar is popped, and they're wearing like it's just kind of cool, and I really like it. It feels feels very music. Um, so that's a trend that I'm seeing, and also too with the women here, it's a lot of prints, of course. It's a lot of color, so I really, really, um, I'm really into that as well. How far now? How far now? How far now? That's how are you? Is it? Yeah. Okay, nice, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So let's think about the fashion industry for one minute. Has it been with you? How did you start into this particular height you've gotten to? Wow, a lot of questions. How long have you got? Well, I was spotted by Carl Ogfa when I was very young. I used to work at Chanel. Then I became the creative director of Givenchy in Paris for three years, designing the couture and the ready-to-wear. And now I have my own fashion label, which is worn by very, very famous men and women all over the world. That's T.Y. Bella. Yeah, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Yes, why do you, uh, you don't know? Eh? What's up? You don't know. What happened? You don't know you're one of Africa's finest oh, photographers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, how's the business been? Very good. Very good. I've had a, an amazing year. Well, let's talk about your experience in the industry before we start talking about this. So how's it been for you? Well, it's been a long journey. I've been doing this for almost 18 years. And but I'm so happy. As in I'm so fulfilled. I love my job. As in I wouldn't be doing anything else. Well apart from singing, but I love the job. Yeah, the land is green, you know. Yeah. But what inspires your design? Well, I love women, I love men, I love colour, I love glamour. My clothes are full of sparkle, full of colour, and they for and they for people who actually want to be noticed and want to be strong and confident, and for people who love fashion. And that is why celebrities like Madonna, Beyonce, Taylor Swift, to name but a few, wear my clothes. Masterclasses were the runway showcases of promising and talented fashion designers who thrilled the audience with their amazing designs and of course the models who bodied the clothes beautifully.